records that you've won. And I mean, how, how you feel? I know you did a lot of preseason work. Is that helping you handle yeah, the load? Absolutely. Um, I was this time last year um, being a backup. You know, my body was in a lot worse condition, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, I feel extremely well um, after the first five games. You've been here a long time. The UW rivalry has been big for the years. Does it still resonate with you, or are you guys taking it just as another kind of Just another game. Um, pay no more attention than we would to the next team. Um, you know, we got to prepare for them. We're going to come in. They're going to come here. They're going to play hard. They're going to give us their best shot, just like every other team would. Uh, we just got to prepare and do things the way we would normally would do them. Defensively, they look a lot better, at least yeah. statistically. Mm -hmm. defense. Well, they're fast, physical guys. Um, they all get to the ball. Um, they have a lot of active guys on the defense. You know, they have a lot of balls. Guys are always around the ball, always around the ball, always making plays. You see that a lot throughout the defense. The one thing they did against Stanford, they put a lot of eight guys up front to stop the run. So, um, you know, if they do that, how's that going to affect what you guys want to do? We're, we're going to play Oregon football. Um, you know, it doesn't matter what you do. Um, you still have to stop us, and that's pretty much what it comes to, comes down to. You know, if we execute the way we can execute, you know, it's hard to hard to stop us. And if we allow them to dictate the game, then you know it'll be it'll be easy for them to do what they need to do. How important for you then to dictate? Oh, it's it's huge. Um, you know, as a, as an offense, you always want to dictate the game. You never want to let the defense dictate to what you want to do. You always control the game. So, so how do you dictate your terms when, Playing when a defense, football. Is, when a defense <laughs> is trying to load up the box against you? You just got to make plays. Um, you know, we have things set up that we've prepared for all throughout practice that allow us to do different things for what we expect from them. So, you know, they get in the sake of what we expect for them to do. We have plays that we can capitalize off of that. Sarkeesian was saying that he thinks that this team's much more well equipped to play four quarters with you guys than they have in the past. Mm -hmm. From watching the film, do you notice them rotating a lot more guys on defense, have a lot more depth, and it seem like a team? Like yeah, I see the depth there. Um, you know, until you still got to come out and execute. That's pretty much what it comes to. It's a game of execution. Um, regardless of how much depth you have, if you don't execute, you can end up on the opposite side of the, of the win loss column. So, um, you know, we bo both teams have to execute. And, you know, we're going to do our best to do what we have to do. Gary Campbell was telling me after the game that he was talking throughout the Washington State game about your running style and trying mm -hmm. to run more aggressively. Yeah. You were worried about him calling you soft. Yeah, he pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He man. said that's how you wanted him. He, that's how he wanted you to run. Yeah. Is that something that you're trying to change a little bit, your running style of being more of that, I don't know how to, I'm not trying to call you, that, but more of that, that hard-nosed runner? That's yeah, you know, you definitely want to add that to your game rather than always being, you know, somebody that's making people miss or running from people. You know, you want, you want to keep a team off balance. You know, if a team knows that you're just constantly going to hit sideline to sideline, that you're going to make a miss, that's what they expect. But um, if you hit them in the mouth, it changes things. Did you notice a difference in, in the way you were running the first half of the second half? Yeah, because he made me mad. <laughs> um, and I, I didn't, I didn't really, I wasn't really paying attention to it in the, in the first half. But uh, once he came and said something to me, you know, it kind of irked me a little bit. It made me run harder.